Hi, my name is Ajmal Akhtash. I'm the Associate Director of the Center for Experimental Structures here at Pratt Institute School of Architecture. What we do here at, at the Center, uh, for the most part, is explore uh, shape making, structural making through materials and through technology. Uh, in the past, we've developed a number of different ways to explore these notions and these uh, possibilities. Since acquiring the machine uh, a couple years ago, I decided in one of the classes that I'll be teaching that I'm a wide range of techniques utilizing the Formec 508, uh, which meant teaching the students how to research with the technology. It was very easy for them to use. They instantly started getting results. They got really excited about using the machine when we start producing a large number of these kind of uh, molds or tools mm -hmm. that we're making. And once they placed it into the Formac machine, instantly seeing the results was, was quite exciting. Um, some of the things that we were interested in doing was looking at these kind of minimal shaped surfaces um, and the process of understanding their very specific geometries uh, and leveraging the capability of the 508. Zone adjustments for us were quite crucial, especially with the tool making process where there's potentially more stretching happening around the edges versus along the center. Setting different temperature rates helped us limit the, the amount of stretching that occurred with the materials. Secondly, I think the students were quite intrigued as much as I was when we could produce thousands of pulls consistently. When we discovered that we can achieve a certain level of consistency, we then understood the architectural processes of uh, mass production. Some of the pieces that we were getting, obviously, was looking at the, 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 the extent of the pull. As you can see here, you have four saddles positioned within the single pull, this was crucial for us to begin to think about efficiency of the use of technology. Uh, we maximized the, the area of the pull to achieve four saddles and then from there we were able to kind of mass produce the release of that shape with the use of, of other technologies. And because we were able to produce very consistent parts and because we were able to connect the forming technology with robotic technology, we were able to now move into an area that is about exploring structures. And so if we have that free will and that free movement to move through uh, space and all the technologies, we can come uh, and, and revisit and reflect and say, well, if we choose one technology, which is vacuum forming technology, and we choose one material, um, polycarbonate, and then we choose one methodology, that methodology is assemblage. And so you can see here, I have the saddle, and this they're completely all identical, and with this identical part, we are able to populate right, and produce a space and structure that has the ability to produce difference. And when we do that, we're able to produce all these tangential edge conditions and begin growing architecture.